So I get an email the other day and Paul, you know, just emailed me out of the blue said, Hey, I hear you're in Kiev. I'm going to come see you. And I was actually a little bit surprised. I was like, wow, someone's going to travel to Ukraine to spend time with me. I was honored. I, I was like, I was like, wow, it just, I'm always humbled when people come out and spend time with me. But I get it because we're in the same industry. We both have similar goals and it's mutually beneficial because both of us have businesses that are in this industry. And guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can connect with rock stars in your industry. All right, so I just realized I called myself a rock star. That's kind of funny. I don't know if I'd be calling myself a rock star in the industry, but I definitely know a lot of people. This is something I've been very happy to build up. And Paul, uh, really quick for my audience, maybe you want to tell them a little bit about yourself and your company and what you've got going on. Of course, yeah, no. So um, I'm Paul, obviously, guys. Um, I run a an online magazine called mensfashionmagazine.com. Been doing that for about five years. Started online seven years ago. I had a big turning point in my life. And I got to know Antonio a few years ago. It was probably about four. Yeah. About four years ago. Yeah, we connected on Skype, talked a few times, and yeah, yeah had a lot in common. Exactly. And that's, that's basically what I do now. I'm doing some more YouTube stuff as well. And it was just great to meet the man in person. Like, we've been speaking for I know. a few it years. So. Makes me makes me all feel big and stuff. I, <laughs> I can tell you guys, and I talked about it in this intro, what actually connected me, you know, we've talked for years. But it's you coming here and just us spending time together, you know, shaking hands, talking with each other, having, you know, a burger the other day, yeah. you getting to meet some of my local friends here in Kiev. There is nothing that replaces face-to-face -face relationships and building those type of bonds. But why don't we do more of it? Because, in you know, I, you guys are watching this because you want to figure out, okay, how can I get connected to somebody bigger in my industry? Perhaps someone that would be, it would be beneficial for me to get to know this person. They may own a company that I want to work for. They may actually, you know, have certain connections that I want to connect with. That's what this video is all about. So let's, wh why did you come out here? Because, I mean, it costs money. Of course. It costs time. You've got a, you've got a, you've got a six yeah, month old six son. Yeah, six month old son, a six, yeah. seven year old stepson. So yeah, no, I mean, I think like you just mentioned, relationships are the most important thing, especially when you're running an online business or any business. Um, relationships, connections to people is, is definitely important. So for me, all of you say it, it costs money. It, I had an awful flight at three o'clock in the morning in London out here. It was all about establishing more connections, establishing more relationships you've known me for a while. So it wasn't like you just called me out of the blue and said, Hey, I'm going to be there. I want to meet you at a coffee shop and pick your brain. If you ever, you know, guys, that's not the way. If you just meet somebody, don't say, Hey, I want to take you out for coffee so that I can grill you for two hours and, you know, just pull all this knowledge out of your head. Cause yeah. that wouldn't have probably worked. No, definitely not. I think that's the key thing is it's what can you give to them rather than what are you expecting back from them? So I come out here, no reason, you know, whatsoever, just to connect with Antonio, to meet him in person. I didn't say to him straight away the first time I spoke to him, can you do this for me? Can you, can I get in a video with you? Yeah. You know, can, can you do something for me? Yeah, it the was... video was my idea. I'm like, I got to film something. Here. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Exactly. So it is all about what can you offer to them rather than, you know, what can I get from this person? Now, there's another thing here is that I view you as a peer. You know, it's like you've got a YouTube channel. Oh, it's a work in progress. You, you're what, at 5,000 subscribers right Yeah, around right 5,000 subscribers. And so, you know, some people would say, oh, you know, and he just came out to see Antonio because he wants to get some of his subscribers or build up his channel. But that's not true. I I look at it, I look at you as a peer. We've known each other before my channel. Actually, I think I had like 20,000 yeah. or 30,000 subscribers. In fact, you knew guys like Aaron Marino yeah. when he had like 30,000 subscribers. You were one of his first advertisers. Yeah, exactly. So... I think that's the next key point with, you know, connections is it's a long term game. It isn't a overnight thing. So, you know, like you said, we connected four years ago. I connected with Aaron around in 2010. I had an online retail store and Aaron did a, a video for me, which was great. And it's not an overnight relationship is something that you should be working at gradually. We've got strengths in different areas. We complement each other. And I look at what he's done. I know the amount of work. I know the amount of effort that this guy has had to put into his business. So I view him not as, not as a competitor, not as someone that, you know, I, 
I want to get something from, just someone that I can commiserate with. We can talk about all the problems having to deal with from haters, having to deal with, you know, like trying to figure out how to balance work life and things like that. We're going to see each other in a week yeah. in Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia. Yeah, people so, question that. Like, Why are you flying to Ukraine when you're going to see Antonio in a week? Yeah, Atlanta? because think about that. So this guy, he's going to be flying to the United States, spending a week or, you know, about a week over there with all these other guys. But why did you decide to come here to meet with me versus just waiting till we're in Atlanta together? The main reason is because, you know, when you go to Atlanta, StyleCon in particular, there's going to be a lot of influencers. There's going to be a lot of, of your fans. There's going to be a lot of people there. So it really is showing that you're making more effort than someone else. You know, I'm coming out here to meet with Antonio, who we've never met before. Now, when I go to Atlanta, when I go to StyleCon, we have connected. We have spent a weekend together. We've yeah. had dinner together. So it makes it easier for me to integrate into that situation. Atlanta would be the first time we would have met if you hadn't come out here. Mm -hmm. And if I only got to talk to you for like 10 minutes, which oftentimes happens at big conferences, you only get a few minutes with some of these people. It's something that, you know, I mean, there, now there's no pressure on us. Mm -hmm. It's simply exactly. like, hey, you want to meet other people. I can facilitate those introductions mm -hmm. as well. You're coming in as a speaker, which I do very much appreciate. Mm -hmm. The point we wanted to hit with this video is that it's worth going the extra mile because so few people do. And if something means something to you, make time for it. Always look to make connections with as many people as you possibly can. I always say shake as many hands as, as you possibly can. And just always think, always apply 51% effort into that relationship rather than trying to get something back from it. That is definitely the the biggest point that you know I can say for, from that. And what I've, I've managed about, to pick yeah. your brains, you know, yeah, this, yeah. this weekend, yeah. I've managed, we've managed to talk business, we've managed to talk YouTube style, the, the whole culture here as well in the Ukraine. So, I, I, you know, it's, it's always good to expand on your connections. And, and what I really appreciate is Paul's expectations. You're actually, I felt have been, you haven't asked for a whole lot. He realizes I've got four kids. I've got a family here. Always be thinking again, how you can give to them, not, not be trying to figure out ways how I can take this or take that. People have a good BS meter. They're going to be able to smell that and they're not going to want to spend time with you. Now, uh, Paul, where can they find you at across the web? Yeah, so the main site is definitely mensfashionmagazine.com. I also have my own personal blog, which is pmcgregor.com. I'm doing a lot more YouTube stuff now. I've looked at Aaron over the years, Antonio, a lot of the other guys coming up. So I'm definitely doing some more um, YouTube stuff. So obviously I've got a YouTube channel, which I do some style videos, some grooming videos, but also a lot of self-improvement and mindset videos as well. So they are the main places online. All right. Well, guys, go check him out. That's it. See you in the next video. Take care. Thanks, guys.